Okay, so I am uh, about ready to write my paper. And I'm going to end up doing this in two 30 minute videos uh, because I'm currently using EasyVid and it maximum requires or maximum allows 45 minutes. So I'm going to do this in two 30 minute segments. Uh, I might take a break in between them or maybe I'll do a 40 minute and a 20 minute. Uh, typically in writing a paper I like to write the paper when it's done stop walk away and come back a little while later and then reread it otherwise I notice that I'm just reading what I wanted to say not what it actually says so <coughs> um, the writing prompt so principal is asked to write a four to five hundred word memo that will help as the technology plan for the next three years is written at your school. Uh, in the memo, I need to present new and creative ideas about how to persuade three specific groups of teachers to voluntarily begin to explore how to integrate technology in more meaningful ways. Uh, the first group is teachers with more than 20 years of experience who have to date been highly resistant to technology but they are excellent teachers uh, that classifies actually a lot of my building so that will be very uh, um, easy to relate to teachers who are techno technologically proficient but tend more toward using the tech for fun rather than learning um, Off the top of my head, I don't think we have a lot of teachers like that, so that will be a little bit interesting. And the third is substitute teachers. Okay. The principal would like the member to provide any thoughts you have about targeting these three groups. And these should be new, creative, and backed up with some evidence of their potential success. So... Let's open up a new Word document. <coughs> I'll also um, pull up my notes, which are not going to be in there. Okay. I'll title this. Technology Integration Memo. Okay. So I have three categories. First category. Let's say new teachers proficient in technology, but a 
some gear, tech use towards learning. Okay. <clears throat> so, we have our three categories to address. Um, Let's start with this. Uh, first, it is important to note that some teachers who are using technology may not understand that Although what they are doing is great, it is not technology integration if only the teacher is using the technology. Some examples of this include how our teachers use smart boards and Elmo's. These are wonderful tools, but only the teacher is using them, therefore it is not technology integration with the students. Okay, now, issues you're going to have is mainly for this category is going to be lack of support. Um, The primary reason why more experienced teachers are resistant to technology integration is because of a lack of understanding and the idea that they like to stick with what works. Those are the two main items that need to be addressed with this category. <coughs> so what I want to do is for my preliminary research is this I already know this this is what you need to do some research on right now and my goal is to find ways um, that show that, sure, what they've been doing for 20 years is, is good. Because it is. I mean, that's their experience. They know what they're doing. It works. Uh, the problem is, the world's changing. And because the world's changing, so does what works. So, we'll go with how does technology integration improve student learning?
Hmm. Technology integration has increased graduation rates. <coughs> That's great, but it's not going to fit for my article. The school doesn't have issue with graduation rates. recording and I am okay so let's go on this this report I need the title of this report. Okay. So, <coughs> first, second. Many of the senior teachers may claim that they want to stick with what works. While well, it is true that um, their methods are effective, it is important to note that there is always room for improvement and their methods were effective in the 1990s and 2000s, but it is a very different world today. A report from on a New National Trend Report from the State Educational Technology and Actions Association has shown that technology integration is um, improving student engagement and empowers individualized instruction. Let's come back to you. <coughs> so what I'm hitting on in the second point, I'm going to come back to the first point later. Uh, what I'm hitting on in the second point with teachers like to stick with what works, uh, that's 
their methods have been proven to be effective. Um, but it's important to remember they were effective in the 1990s and in 2000s, and it's a different world today. Uh, students themselves, as my preliminary research showed, students themselves have a different learning preference today than they did 10 to 20 years ago. Um, so it's important to note that there needs to be changes as the students are changing and this shows that uh, student engagement is improving due to technology integration At the end I'm going to put down here um, Trying to see if I can find a date. Here we go. Then April. Okay. So that's been cited. overcome barriers I'll pop that open if you need to reference it later Okay. <clears throat> Ways that I can help them. Um, go. Teachers need to overcome their fear of the unknown. Since they have not seen the um, effects of using technology integration in the classroom, 
I would recommend having them observe teachers who do use technology integration so they can see what it should look like. Um, professional development should be provided for teachers who have need of using or need of learning how to use technology integration. Most importantly, in my opinion, is they need to start small. They should not be expected to do a complete 180 on their entire teaching methods that they have been doing for 20 plus years <coughs> in the course of one school year. This should be a slow process that they ease into and it is important to um, provide them with simple steps early so that they are successful early on <coughs> excuse me which will be a good motivator and help take away their anxiety Overcoming technology barriers, how to innovate without extra money or support. This is by Susie Boss. It has to, that can't be right. This wasn't written today. This article originally published on August 6, 2008. Written on 2008. First view this one on this past Monday, January, January, this past Monday was the 13th, no, it was Tuesday, 14th, um, Over here, if we're gonna put the journal.com. Okay. Alrighty, so I think that's enough on the uh, more experienced teachers. Ideas are, one, say that what they're doing is good, but it's not technology integration. 
a lot of these senior teachers will say that they're already using technology integration but the truth is and it's no insult to them they don't quite understand what technology integration is there's definitely no insult to that because truth be told uh, as of Tuesday this week I did not fully understand what technology integration meant uh, then the two primary reasons or I guess the primary reasons my experience is teachers won't do this because of their lack of their understanding and they like to stick with what works so first I address the lack of uh, their understanding and some strategies are uh, observe teachers who do know how to do technology integration so they can see what it's like uh, provide professional development and support um, and when they start they should start small they should not be expected to do a 180 on what they've been doing for the past 20 years in one school year um, it should take time to do this it should be integrated slowly over the course of two or three years it is important that they start with simple steps and it is important according to Susie Boss and her research that um, if they're successful early on it will be a good motivator and it will help take away the anxiety they have the second thing that they're going to say is they like to stick with what works well it's great it worked in the 90s and 2000s but research has gone on to say that students don't even learn the same way today as uh, they did in the past so let's see I think the word preference here we go this is what I was looking for it's sort of my support here we go let's just copy this right out of here and let's drop it today I'll drop it right in here this comes from Elizabeth Melville Elizabeth Glencoe.com written and This is again first viewed Tuesday, January fourteenth, two thousand fourteen. <coughs> so that really reinforces the idea that. Um, learning is much different today than it was in the past. Reference to the old method of learning new things, old things.
Okay. I think that's going to be my biggest section because I think that's really the biggest issue. At least in my school. Um, substitute teachers. Off the top of my head, I'm going to say that, you know, we use things like uh, Blackboard students are able to almost carry on a lesson on their own. Substitute teachers position is going to be more so of making sure they stay focused on their ideas. Um, I think I'm going to do the substitute teacher section next because I think the new teachers um, proficient in tech but not need to gear towards student learning. Um, it's not that big of a deal in my school, so I am going to address it as though if it were one or some things that we could do. Um, mainly off the top of my head, I'm thinking I like this idea of reserving other teachers so they can see what it should look like. That's an excellent way to handle that. Um, Let's see what else I have in my own notes that could help. She's not to integrate. this will be an issue to address with this and I think it's gonna have to come down to school policy uh, just jotting down some notes before I stop this video I'll come back after a quick break and do the second half I'm jotting down some notes on um, what to do is Observe teachers who are doing it correctly. Um, work on redirection if students are off task. Make an effective school policy for misuse of electronic devices substitute teachers guide students to where they need to go for the lesson lesson will be much more or class will be more useful or Class is less likely to be movie or busy work with tech integration. Teacher can still get information to students even if they are not home or not in school. So we'll come back to those ideas in the last two topics and then I think we'll be able to wrap this up in uh, half an hour or so. So I'm going to stop it for now, take a break, and I'll come back and do the last 25 minutes.